what's up welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a great week I have been having a pretty shitty week to be honest one I'm quitting coffee for like the 10th time this year but I think this time I'm doing pretty good um, I've just been weaning myself off this so each day I progressively feel shittier and today I think I felt the shittiest like I felt so groggy all day but I think it's worth it because I'm tired of being addicted to coffee two I think my monthly gift from Mother Nature will be arriving soon and I'm not excited about that to be honest. And three, even though I have some videos planned later on this month, I'm trying to post like every week and it's so hard trying to come up with good ideas. So I thought, why not mutilate my body for you guys this week? So yeah, today I'm going to attempt to stretch my ears from a zero gauge to a zero zero gauge. Um, I'm pretty nervous about this to be honest, not gonna lie, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this or not. Because I know I say this in every video, but I'm not a professional. If you're looking for like really helpful advice on how to do this, don't 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 take everything I say word for word because I'm pretty sure I'm fucking this up. So yeah, about two years ago is when I started stretching my ears. Um, I got up to a two gauge. Now I know I rushed through the process and my earlobes have definitely suffered greatly from it. Like you're gonna see they look like wrinkled up rectums. Um, but yeah, that's what I did and eventually I did take them out like around the last year-ish because my earlobes are really itchy. They weren't infected, but they were just like insanely itchy and I couldn't take anymore. So I retired them, but eventually I put them back in and I've managed to go all the way up to a zero now. The only thing is, I don't know if you guys can see that well because my hair is kind of in the way. Like I've got up to a zero, but for some reason my earlobes are just like so stretched out that the zero doesn't even fit. Like I could easily just slip these off and these have like a screw down back. Like for what reason? So yeah, it's pretty annoying. I've gone through like three of these little zero tunnel things because they just keep slipping off when I don't, I'm not paying attention and then I touch my ear and it's not there anymore and it's really annoying. And although I like the size I'm at, I feel like they're kind of like a little small for my taste. I think I want them to be a little bigger. So I'm going to attempt to do a zero zero gauge. I'm so nervous. Uh. So I want you guys to take a good look at my earlobes because I want to be a poster child for um, not piercing your kids at like the age of uh, zero because um, this earlobe is like considerably like a lot lower than this one like you see the drastic difference even though I know my ears are like two different shapes like they just look so different so this is obviously my trouble ear because it's so like small and like close to the edge I'm always scared I'm gonna rip my earlobe off but this one is nice and stretchy and limber so you know I'm really nervous about this fella right here I'm just cleaning my ear off with some sea salt just in case you know I made a little sea salt solution um I had a really nice solution mix that like tea tree oil sea salt and stuff but I use it all up so I'm just using what I got I like to use this for my ear it's called holy butter and it's a natural blend of vegan emollients and moisturizers. It's really helped me out a lot. I love it. It's like, it like soothes my pain when I'm healing it. This is what it looks like. It's basically just like a wax. I'm gonna rub that on this ear, my little anus ear. Okay guys, I just changed my mind about stretching this ear out. I know I've been bitching about it, but yo, I didn't even know I got like loose skin off the back off the back of this ear like it's just like hanging skin oh my god <laughs> I'm just an edgy teenager okay I, I did this all by myself I really didn't really didn't care you know so but I am gonna try out stretch out this ear if it goes through on this ear then we're having a party this is the taper. It looks really greasy and oily because I put all that wax on it. But yeah, she's thick as hell. Look at that. Thick as hell and ready for my ear. So. Let's do this. Okay, let me get in the camera so you guys can see. So yeah, I got that much in so far. And now I'm just slowly going to push it. You see how loose my ear is? Is this healthy? I'm like scared. Why is my ear so loose? But yeah, 
it's like not going to go through. Oh, I feel like I'm making progress though. It keeps falling out. Oh! Oh my god, I got it in. It kind of hurts, kind of fucking stings. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this in for a little bit. Um to see if my ear explodes or something before I put in the earring. Just in case, just taking precautions. Oh my god, what the fuck is good with this ear? Why is there a loose skin? What is- Guys, comment, what is wrong with my ear? Do I need to go to a doctor? Okay, now I'm just gonna try to put the earring in. I always fuck up at this part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fuck! So I managed just to stretch my ear around it. Oh wow. That is freaking big. I don't even know if I like it, to be honest. What do you guys think look better? Bigger one, little one. Bigger one, little one. Oh my god, my ear is like freaking hurting so bad right now. Eek! Oh, I should soak it in fucking sea salt. Duh. But look, Ma, no blood. No blood, I'm not bleeding. Oh. Um, so that's good. Successful stretch. A little stinging, not bad. Okay guys, I've come to a conclusion at while soaking this beautifully new stretched ear. This ear is just blown the fuck out. Um, like literally blown out of this world. It looks like a prolapsed asshole. So that's really unfortunate, like I was literally just googling like why does my ear look like this and yeah it's called blowout which basically means I have to keep like soaking it in sea salt and taking very good care of her until she gets better and then I'll be able to stretch her tight little hole up. So I'm a little sad about that to be honest. But this ear looks really cool, like I look really edgy now, like I, feel like I work at like Hot Topic or Spencer's but this side is like yeah, what's up? I'm just a little hole. Don't mind me. Alright guys, that's basically it. I stretched out my ear. So if you were expecting two ears, I know you're probably extremely disappointed in me. Maybe I'll post an update video of my blown out ear little fellow over here, let you guys know if it heals. I would love to stretch it like to this. I'm really impatient. I wish I could just do it right now, but I don't think it's worth like ripping off my entire earlobe and then having to get surgery to repair it, you know what I'm saying? So I guess I'll wait it out a few months and see where I'm at. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and enduring this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Peace!